Hey y'all, my name is Corey Ashton and welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. Are you struggling to send a PDF file inside of your email autoresponder on your WordPress website? I'm gonna show you how to do it right now, all in the budget of free. Hey y'all, this is brought to you by Liquid Web, the most helpful humans in hosting. Please be sure to reach out to them if you need any help with your WordPress hosting or support. They are phenomenal and they are ready to be of help to you on your WordPress website. All right, let's get to it. This is how you do it. This is how you send a PDF inside of an email autoresponder. So the cool thing about this is it works with absolutely any email program that you might have or any autoresponder. I'm using WS form as my um, contact form plugin, but really this could work any way you want because what you're gonna do right now is you're gonna go to your media library and you're gonna click add new. Right here, we're gonna select the files from wherever you have them, right? And we're gonna go in and go ahead and upload your PDF file. Once you upload any file for that matter, whether it's a PDF or a doc or whatever you'd like to upload, whatever you'd like to send in your autoresponder, as soon as you upload it to your media library here, it has its own address. It lives online. You want to look for the file URL. When you have that little link right there, check this out. I'm gonna copy it to my clipboard. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna click enter and see it lives online now. It has its own unique address. Look right here and I will show you that. Check this out. Look right up here, see? It's got its own spot online and it says .pdf. So as long as you have this link, you're able to send this link inside of your email. Let me show you what that looks like. With WS form, you're able to go in and select the response that you wanna send, right? You wanna go ahead and uh, send an email responder as soon as somebody clicks submit, we wanna do that. And in order to kind of customize that, we're gonna click on the gear icon here and go into the actual email template. So down here, you can add all your information that you want to right here. And you can also add a file too. As long as you have that link still on your clipboard or just go get it again, you can insert the link right there. So what that does is it sends the file link in the autoresponder. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save and let's test this. Publish. Let's fill it out. Click the GDPR and submit. You can see here, thank you for your inquiry. Then when I go over to my inbox, see right here, there's our response, right down here. Click here to download the PDF. When I click there, there's my beautiful PDF file that I sent them in that email. How cool is that? Again, you can do this with absolutely any type of file that you want inside of that autoresponder. You can list them out. But remember, if you're trying to do this as some sort of a digital download that they've purchased, they now have access to that file and they can share that anywhere. Also note that that PDF file or whatever file that might be lives on your server space. So if somebody does a site search on Google, they might be able to find it on its own. So I would warn against using this process for some sort of a paid solution, but it's perfect if you're trying to send something to somebody as a free resource. All right, if you have questions, be sure to comment on the video. I'll try to answer them as best as possible. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel because every Wednesday, I'm creating content just like this to help you improve your online marketing inside the world of WordPress. I hope you're having a great one. I'll see y'all next time. Bye everyone.